Guess what, guys? What, Stashi? It's time for the Word, word of God. God. It's time for the Word of 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 God. Welcome back. Hey, guys. Oh, my goodness. It is another beautiful week, and we get to share with you more things about God, right, Stashi? Not including, not only that, but his name is Ramsey Rizard. I am. And your name is Nastashi Lewis. Well, you know what? You're Mr. Ramsey, and, and I'm Miss Stashi. Yes. So, guys, guess why we're so excited? It's finally here. Today is the day. Mr. Ramsey, do you know what today is? Today is Resurrection Sunday! I know you guys are super excited because I know that a lot of you guys have a specific reason, mostly involving chocolate uh -huh. and Starburst, but there's another huge reason on why this day today we celebrate, which is the resurrection of Christ Jesus. He raised on the third day, he raised on the third day, he raised on the third day. So, yeah. Mr. Ramsey, is that really your singing voice? I think that was. Well, <laughs> I'm glad that you found it. Thank you. But this is the most amazing, most wonderful thing that has ever happened in the whole history of the world. It's when Jesus rose from the grave. Wow. How exciting is that? Now, that was very powerful. If you don't know the story about Jesus raising on the third day, we're going to share it with you yes. right here as you are watching right now. He continues to turn things upside down for yes, us. He, he lived a life full of humility, which we all strive to live a life full of humility. But do you guys remember the definition that we shared with you on last week? Mm. Let me hear you say it. Putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. What you think you deserve. What you think you deserve. Uh-uh. He always does his frog voice. <laughs> I don't understand why. <laughs> <laughs> You guys can excuse us, because sometimes we get a little crazy, right? Right. Y'all know how we do. Because you know us. Yes. But all of this might seem a little upside down. I mean, normally we just want what's ours. We want things to go our way. Our way. But with God's help, we can turn things upside down, and we can live a life with humility. And we can decide to put others first, like Jesus did. That's right. Now, to start us off, let me ask you something. Raise your hand. Uh-huh. If you ever done, or if you ever read about the story of Jesus and resurrecting. Let us know. You think? Yeah. I have. Raise your hand. Stasha. Right. Mrs. Stasha, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you've ever been to an Easter egg hunt. Mm. If you thought that that was something fun for you. Okay. Raise your hand if you caught, found a lot of eggs. That's good. I'm excited about that. Yep. But there is something that's done differently with us. Don't worry, we're still have, we still have a lot of fun on Resurrection Sunday. But there's something more important that we want you to focus on. We want you to focus on the resurrection and how it came about. Because we love Jesus. Yes, we do. All right. And Jesus loves you too. He sure does. If you're ready for a story, here we go. Here, here we go. go. If, if you're, you're ready, ready for, for a story, here we go. Uh, if you're ready for it, if you're ready for if you're ready for a story, here we go. Right. So last week we heard about the religious leaders. Remember those religious leaders that yep. brought all that drama when they was talking about Jesus? With Judas behind his back. With Judas. Selling him for how many? 30 pieces of what? Silver. Silver. Wow. Wow. So we heard about that. They didn't like how Jesus claimed to be the Son of God. For them, being right with God was all about following God's rules. Mm. On top of that, they also believed that their way of following God was the right way. Mm. They didn't know, they didn't like how Jesus was saying that their focus was wrong. Wow. That God really wants us to love him and love others. To love him and, and love, love others. others. 
They didn't like how Jesus was saying that their focus was backwards. Mm. The religious leaders didn't like the way everyone seemed to want to follow Jesus. Because they were following Jesus and because he was popular. I mean, he had over 10 million followers on Instagram. He had over uh, a million followers on Facebook. Everybody commenting. He had over 50 million subscribers on YouTube. And everybody was jealous of Jesus because he had his followers, Miss Tashi. And guess what they did? What? They tried to get rid of him. Wow. What? I mean, how did they get rid of him? They made a sneaky plan with Judas. And Judas so, just so happened to be Jesus' friend. You guys remember the last lesson we talked about Judas? How he betrayed Jesus? Yeah. And how he sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver? It was so sad. So sad. So once he did that, the mob, mm. those religious leaders, had arrested Jesus. Wow. Jesus, they had to put Jesus in handcuffs. And his disciples scattered. They ran. They ran. They were nervous. They were frightened. But a few followed in a, at a distance so what, to see where the soldiers were taking Jesus. Yeah. Lord God. Wow. So Peter and John hid in the shadows. Those were Jesus' Jesus' homeboys. They were his friends. They saw that Jesus was being taken into the high priest's courtyard. The high priest knew John, so John went in with Jesus. But Peter had to wait outside until John brought him in. And guess what, guys? A servant woman was on duty by the door and asked Peter, you aren't one of Jesus' disciples too, are you? Peter was so afraid. And what did Peter do? He, he denied was, Jesus. Yes, he did. And didn't Jesus say that in the last lesson yeah. about that, Peter, you're going to deny me three times? Right. And he said the rooster would do what? Crow. He would the rooster would crow. Wow. And that's exactly what happened. Wow. This is this is so interesting. Yes, yeah, so sad, but so amazing. Right. So, uh, meanwhile inside, the high priest Annas was questioning Jesus. He was trying to trick Jesus and catch him in a lie. But Jesus wasn't going to fall for that because A, he's Jesus. And B, he's Jesus. And, yeah, and he already knew. Period. Right. The high priest asked him about his teaching and his followers. I have spoken openly to the world, Jesus said. I always taught in synagogues or at temples where all the Jews came together. I didn't say anything in secret. You think that's why they were upset? They was hating. Wow, they was hating. Why question me? Asked the people who heard me. They certainly know what I said. The high priest did not like that answer. Jesus had made a really good point that had shut down Shut his argument. Down. The high priest had Jesus tied up mm. and sent him to another high priest named Cephas. Mm. Wow. So what happens next? Yeah. It goes down in the courtyard. Yes. Oh, stop. Listen, in the courtyard, uh -huh. in the chill of the cold night, imagine, cold night, Peter stood near a fire. Ooh where other servants and officials were huddled to keep warm. As Peter held his hands up to the flame, rubbing them together, the men started up a conversation with him. You aren't one of Jesus' disciples too, are you? Peter was still worried about being arrested. He said, I, I am, am not. not. And that's the second denial, Mr. Stasi, that Peter denies Jesus. I just don't get it. Well, actually I do, but still, that's Jesus. Then a man glanced over and thought he recognized Peter. He recognized In him. fact, this man was related mm -hmm. to the man who, whose ear Peter had cut off mm -hmm. in the garden. The, the garden. Didn't I see you in the garden? Mm -hmm. He asked again. Again. Peter said, no, a third denial. The third? One, two, three. And just then, a rooster crowed. <laughs> At that moment, I know Peter had report card stuff. Wow. Peter remembered what Jesus had told him that the, before the rooster crowed, Peter would deny him three times. Oh. See, that's one thing you got to remember. God will always remind you of what he said. Oh. Right? He'll always remind you. He'll bring you back to the place in your mind where you will remember. 
And even when your mother's talking to you, your father's talking to you, a guardian is talking to you, or even an elderly person is talking to you, God will use them to remind you what he told you. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. the leaders had taken Jesus to the palace of the Roman governor. Mm. Pilate. It was Pilate's job to figure out if charges against Jesus were true. So he asked the religious leaders why they were bringing Jesus to him in the first place. Mm. The leaders told Pilate that Jesus had committed crimes. A crime. Just making stuff up. Making it up. Even though he really had it. Mm. Pilate really didn't want anything to do with the whole situation. So he told the priests to take Jesus back mm. and judge them by their own law. He didn't even want nothing. See, automatically, it sounded like he knew that Jesus was not supposed to be in the position he was in. Mr. Correct. Scott. He knew. He knew what Jesus was he could, We could feel it. Wow. Then the real truth came out, Rams. What happened? The leaders explained that if they judged by their, Jesus by their laws, mm -hmm. they couldn't put him to death. Wow. Only Roman law could do that. They didn't just want Jesus arrested. They wanted to kill Jesus. They wanted him put to death. Wow. Jealousy. Jealousy led Jesus all the way to where he was. Wow. So Pilate questioned this man. He asked Jesus some straightforward questions like, are you the king of the Jews? Are you? And what have you done? Jesus answers him with straightforwardness as well. Jesus said, you say that I am a king. In fact, that's the reason I was born. I was born and came into this world to be a witness to, to the truth. Everyone who is on the side of truth listens to me. Pilate went back to the crowd outside the courtyard and told them that he couldn't find any fault any with fault. what Jesus said. There was nothing to charge him with because he had done nothing wrong. But the crowd wouldn't have it. They shouted, take him away. Hey, Crucify take him. Woo! Take him, him away. away. Crucify, Crucify him. him. Pilate shrugged and gave the crowd what they wanted. And I know that was hard for him because wow. he knew, he knew. He knew that time was coming. He handed Jesus over to be put to death on the cross. Wow. And then guess what happened? From there, I, the story gets so intense. Jesus was forced to carry his own oh. cross to Golgotha, oh. a hill outside the city. Soldiers nailed him, bam, to the wooden bars with heavy spikes and hoisted him up high for all to see. So imagine, everyone saw Jesus with nails in him. And these people love Jesus. Some of the people love Jesus. Wow. Above his head hung a sign that said, King, King of, of Jews. Jews. Jesus' his mother, Mary, her sister, and Mary Magdalene were all there. Jesus asked John to take care of his mother. Then Jesus spoke his last words. It is, is finished. finished. He bowed his head and he died. And he died. But the interesting story, that's not where it ended, right? right? That was a form of humility. Jesus knew that this was going to happen. He knew that he needed to die in order for us to what, Ms. Mustachi? In so order for us live. to live. Wow. So a man named Arrhythmia, named a man from Arrhythmia named Joseph, asked Pilate for Jesus' body. He was a follower of Jesus, and he wanted to give Jesus a proper burial in a tomb. Another man named Nicodemus went with Joseph to take care of Jesus' body. Wow. Nearby there was a tomb that no one had used, so they placed a Jesus' body there. A large, I mean a huge... Rolling stone. A large, no, not a rolling stone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a large stone was rolled, it was rolled. You know what, that's why. In okay. place, Mr. Ramsey's over here trying to do the wall. Whoa. Rolling his wall. Yes. <laughs> was placed in front of the entrance. Oh, Mr. Ramsey, could you so go So you're on? telling me that even when you're going through tough things in life, that God has people in place to still take care of you? Yes. Wow. Mary Magdalene followed the man who took Jesus' body for burial. Early Sunday morning, she went back to the tomb Guess what? Mm. To her surprise, 
The heavy stone that had been blocking the tomb was rolled away. Wow, so somebody actually rolled it away. And guess what else? What? The tomb was empty. It was empty! Hey! It was empty. They had taken the Lord out of the tomb. Yes. We don't know where they had put them is what they said. They all ran back to the tomb. Ran. Peter and John looked inside and found the cloth Mm. and linen that Jesus had been buried in. But there was no trace of Jesus anywhere. They weren't sure what had happened because they didn't yet understand wow. the scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Mm. They went back home bewildered. They were so sad that Jesus, they believed Jesus was dead, but they forgot the teachings right. that Jesus was teaching them. Right. You remember when he sat at the table with them? You remember when he went when he went through the Passover with them? You remember when he taught them everything that he was talking about that was going to come? That he would that he would be killed, but he would also rise on the third day? Well guess what? Jesus began to appear. And get and look. So Mary Magdalene stayed behind the tomb crying when mm. they just found the, the linens. Through her tears, she looked at the tomb, and she was surprised to find two people sitting inside. And who were the two people? Well, they actually weren't people. Mm, who were there? They were angels. Angels? They were dressed in white, and they sat near where Jesus' body had lay. They asked why she was crying. She said, they had taken my Lord away. She turned and saw a gardener who was working near the tomb. The gardener asked her, why she was crying and she was looking, what was she looking for? Mm. The gardener looked at her and she said, and said her name, Mary. All of a sudden, she, she realized died. that the man was not a gardener. Ba -da -ba -ba. Who was it, Miss It was Jesus. It was Jesus. He was alive. He was alive. He lives. Go ahead, Mr. Ramsey. What did Jesus say? Do not hold on to me. I have not yet ascended to the Father. Instead, go to those who believe in me. Tell them I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Well, Mary did go and share the good news. Mm. I bet she never ran so fast in her life. And you know she ain't having no shoes probably. Mm -mm, she probably was running. She got, to, she got to where the disciples were staying and she said, I have seen the Lord. She told them everything that had happened. And at this point, lives were changed forever. Lives were changed forever. Your life, my life, Mr. Ramsey's life, All of our Mr. Lives. Randy's life behind the camera. Everybody's life changed the moment Jesus rose and ascended to the Father. And that's one thing we want to remind you about this special day, is that Jesus died so that we can live again. And this day is the day that if you have never given Jesus your life, it's a good time for you to stop what you're doing and take a deep breath and think about this story and say, Lord, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. And I accept you into my heart. Because that's where I want you to live. You know, the cool thing about this message is that the tomb was empty. Hello. Jesus is alive and you're alive to watch this. Parents, kids, we wanna thank you so much for enjoying this beautiful resurrection teaching with Mr. Ramsey and Miss Stashi. So remember, happy resurrection day. Happy resurrection day, we guys. Love you. We love you. Follow God, love people, and, and change, change the city. city. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. We had a great time doing this with you. It was the bomb. It was the bomb, period. It was so dope that we want you to subscribe to our channel right now. Grab your, fing your parent finger, grab it, grab it, and press subscribe. And now listen, 
If you really want to be a part in connecting with us, you need to click that notification button because we want you to know when we just posted a new video. Right. To watch, right, Stashi? And it'll let you know that we posted a video. You can come in, watch it, spend time with us, although we're not really there. Actually, we are. Yeah. Because let us find out. Mm. So, don't forget, subscribe. Hit the like button. Notification. And we will see you soon. Have a great week.